Well, it has been a while since we've done an update on Queen Opal, my meat ant queen and her colony. So let's check in and see how she is going on. This video is sponsored by Ant Keeping Depot. Click on the link in the description to check out their website. So we are well and truly into summer now here in Australia. And generally that means that ant colonies start to grow with their pupae and larvae um, growing and developing into full grown workers. So here we have the outworld with Queen Opal and this is one of the Oz Ants outworlds and it's fantastic. So I'll put a card at the top so you can uh, check that video out in the review I did on them. So let's have a look though at the colony that we have here. And you can see they're doing okay. So let's have a closer look now. Now with this colony, I have had quite a few workers die off. Those nanitics that all died off and we had a bit of a lapse in a lot of workers. We sort of went back to the four, five, six workers and it was a little bit of a struggle, but I realized I probably wasn't giving them quite enough protein. Now these are known as meat ants, so they need their protein and they really thrive on it. So I've upped their protein and we're seeing quite a lot of development now, up to nine workers here now and we've got quite a few um, eggs and larvae ready to go and a few of them are starting to pupate as well which is really exciting. So I'm really looking forward to how far this uh, colony can expand before we get into the colder months. So far summer is fairly mild so not that hot at all so it's going to be really interesting to see how they go. Now what a beautiful species of ants. This is the Eridomermex purpius and you can see that purplish coloration to their head which you would have seen before in the video. So wanted to keep uh, this colony up to date with you guys so you can see the development that goes on and how long this colony takes to develop just under my care. So I caught this queen back in March 2020. So we're looking at about 18 months now, just over 18 months of development. And it probably would have thrived a little bit better if I'd kept that protein up. So make sure you're giving your ants plenty of protein. Now I generally use a mixture between crickets and mealworms for their protein and it works quite well. So I'm gonna try and keep that up to these girls so they can develop those larvae nice and quickly. What a beautiful colony though. Let me know in the comments below what you think of meat ants and would you keep meat ants if you could? They certainly are beautiful. Uh, Queen Opal is doing really well. And here we've got one, looks like it's picking up one of the uh, pupae which is will harden and go slightly darker, um, which you can sort of uh, see there before. There's one, a darker one just there. But you can see the eyes there, which is really cool uh, to see. So that's the bit of an update on this colony and how they're going. I wanted you just these quick videos to give you an update along the journey with this colony. And there's plenty more updates to come, so stay tuned uh, to the channel. Some really exciting things coming up as well. For as little as $1 a month, you can support the channel and you'll get early access to videos, behind the scenes information and plenty of other perks on different levels as well. So I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. And a huge thanks to my Patreons for supporting the channel. So thanks Medical Carcass 9, John Redwood and Kay Single. I really appreciate it. Now if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. You'll see a video there recommended for you as well, and one that I think you might really like. I appreciate all the support, it means the world, watching my videos right the way through and subscribing. So, happy ant keeping.